Okay, love, so today we are reading a Shayo Hinata from X Listener. This one is called Volleyball Entrance. It is a one shot. However, if you would like me to do the perspective of Wayan's best friend, I would gladly do that one. Um, and the story would be、uh, X Kageyama X Listener, so please comment that down below. And if you would like to check out、um, the story on Wattpad,、uh, the link will be in the description below, or you can search it up yourself. It is called Volleyball Entrance, as I said before. And without further ado, let's get into the video. You were walking to class with one of your good friends when you tripped over a ball. You looked down to see it was in fact a volleyball. You landed on your hands with a small streak coming from your lips. Your friend helped you to your feet, and as they did, a boy with tangerine colored hair ran up to you, causing you to almost fall over again with how dizzy you were. You grabbed your head, rubbing your temple, looking up to face your friend who was shivering over the boy next to the tangerine head. The boy standing next to the tangerine head was way taller and had black hair. Kagayama Tobio, you sighed, bending down to grab the ball as it had rolled when you stumbled back. You threw it towards the hyperactive boy, then placed a hand on your hip. I'm guessing this is yours, you said with an unamused tone. Why in me nice? your friend demanded through a smile. You huffed. Fine. The two boys met you and your friend in the middle. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, the short one said while bowing. He's just an idiot. The taller one bowed as well, though he pushed the shorter one more down. Now, who does that remind me of? Your friend questioned, placing one of their index fingers on their chin. You smiled and almost giggled out. <laughs> Daichi Nisan. Right, they jumped. Would you happen to be talking about Suomura Daichi? The short boy questioned. You both turned your head to look him in the eye and nodded. Yep. yep. Oh, so you know our captain. Well, yeah, he's my big brother, your friend said. They were extremely proud to be Daichi's younger sibling, and you were as well, sort of. You have known your friend forever. You bathed together and even shared a crib. And because of this, Daichi was always told to look after you two. Even if you weren't biologically related, you were like family, and both of your families treated it as such. I wonder why he's never mentioned you two to the team before. The tangerine boy shrugged. You both looked at each other once more with an eye roll at your big brother. That's because he doesn't want any of you to hit on us. What? I'd never hit someone. He thought for a moment. Well, besides Kagiyama, I already did that. He yelled. Oh, shut up. The raven haired boy yelled back. They meant to flirt, you baka. It seemed to not have crossed his mind until now, because the first thing he did when the words left his somewhat friend's mouth, he panicked, not able to face you, and turned around. Literally, like the boy did a whole 180. Uh oh, was all he said. You chuckled with your friend and began to walk past them. Well, see you in class. You waved, taking one last look behind you. Yeah, sure, he stammered. That was weird, you commented, stepping inside the door to your classroom. Yeah, but they were really cute. Taking a bite out of their apple that they had somehow forgotten was in their hand. I've never seen someone almost as short as me, and for it to be a boy? You sounded really fascinated, so your friend thought it best to see how far they could push you. Tangerine boy? they asked. Yeah, he's kind of cute. What are you two talking about? You heard your third bestie skip into the room. We met some boys in the hall, you answered. Yeah, we were talking about how cute they were. Your friends seemed to be daydreaming already. What? You mean Hinata and Kageyama? She questioned. You both looked up. Is that their names? I mean, they're listening outside like a couple of tomatoes, she stated and did her best to hold in the laughter when the two boys were pushed in because of your teacher. What are you two huddled up by my front door for? He yelled. They both fumbled to walk properly. You could tell the boy, Yachi called Hinata, was trying his absolute best to not look at you. However, you made it hard by glancing over at him every few minutes during the lesson. Alright, l that's it for today, your teacher said. He prompted for you all to complete the homework he assigned as it was due tomorrow. What a drag, you huffed out, actually dragging your feet as you walked out of the classroom. Ease up, your friend said. 
Let's go back Daichi ni san to do it for us. You persisted through the minor war that was going on between you and your friend. Just to annoy him? Yes. They bluntly stated with their eyes closed. They then opened the door and turned to you with a big smile and you both started laughing. Yay. You pumped one of your fists in front of you. You slowly made your way down to the gym where you knew Daichi had practice. You met Yachi and another girl. She had a beauty mark like Daichi's friend Sugawara. She also had raven hair like the tall boy you saw once before. It's like that boy and Sugawara had a baby, you said in a surprised manner, and you both walked towards the two girls. I know, right? She's so pretty. Not to mention them. I could totally see them as a family. Yeah, but that boy's in our grade. I don't think it would work. Oh yeah, same. Your friend sighed. You have to admit though, it'd still be fun to think about. Duh, of course. Again, you both laughed, leaning on each other for support as you walked. Yo, Yachi! They waved over your friend. Hey, YFN, she said to you, getting closer and closer. What are you guys doing here? Looking for Daichi Nisan, you grinned. Oh, he should already be in the gym leading warm-ups, she laughed out. This is Shimizu Kyoko, the boy's current manager. She motioned to the beautiful Ravenette. You are so pretty, your friend said, their mouth agape. You are so tall, you said, a bit jealous. <laughs> Thank you. Her voice was so soft, like an angel's. We should get going now, she said. You all agreed and continued walking towards the gym doors. You guys have to change too? You made conversation. Yeah. Yachi sighed out, with sweat dripping down her forehead and a weary smile planted on her face. Once you walked into the gym, you saw Daichi and Sugawara talking to each other as they always do. Daichi, your friend called out. While she walked towards her brother, something had caught your attention. A pair of eyes latched onto the back of your head. You turned and found yourself staring at the same giddy boy whose volleyball made you fall. You waved, and he turned away, a small blush creeping up on his cheeks. You decided to walk over and try to talk to him. Hey, it's Hinata, right? You questioned with a small smile. Hey, you're even smaller than Hinata. Someone called. You turned to see a boy with light brown freckles and dark green hair flat into the side of his head. What, another pipsqueak? The boy next to him commented. D don't say that, Suki. The boy with freckles pestered his seemed-to-be friend. You giggled and turned back to Hinata. Sorry about them, he said, finally meeting your eyes. He was rubbing the nape of his neck as he spoke. You couldn't help but blush at his shyness. You couldn't blame him, though. You did basically call him cute to his face. What's your name, uh, if you don't mind telling me, he said, glancing down. Oh, you laughed out, forgetting that you hadn't introduced yourself yet. My name is Ellen Wyan. That's a cute name. A shaved-headed boy said, latching himself onto Hinata's shoulders. Hinata shoved him off and sternly said, Tanaka! What? I'm just getting to know your new friend, he said, obviously trying to tease him. I'm sorry. He again apologized, meeting your eyes. It's fine. They seem like a fun bunch. Yeah, a bunch of idiots, he scoffed. I better not hear you talking, the same raven-haired boy from before shouted. Oh, whatever, Kagiyama, he shouted back. You giggled. So, your name is Hinata? Oh, uh, yeah, Hinata Shoyo. I like it. Hinata Wayan. It sounds pretty accurate. Oh, what? Again, Hinata blushed furiously. I knew there was some ulterior motive for coming here. You heard your friend shout from the front of the gym. Maybe, maybe not, you winked at them. You saw Daichi looking at you, then back at your friend, clearly lost. I, I can't just m marry you. Right, you have to make me fall all over again. You said with your hands on your hips and nodding with your eyes closed. I, huh? Hinata then remembered that morning, how he made you fall because of the volleyball he lost control over. Oh, you mean, you opened one eye to face him with a smile. Mm-hmm. Good job, Wyan. You snagged the good one. You heard Yachi yell. Not yet. He's just my boyfriend. You shouted back. For now. You then opened your eyes fully, placing a small kiss on Hinata's cheek. You're okay with that, right? 
You wanted to make sure you weren't seeing things and that Hinata actually thought you were cute. Uh, oh, yeah. He smiled nervously. Yay! You hugged him and ran back over to your friend. Tomorrow, I'll get your number. Okay, Shayo? R right. Okay, so this is probably going to be about 10 minutes, maybe 11, maybe 12, I have no idea how many mistakes I made. <laughs> I made so many. Okay, but that's whatever. I'm sorry, because my disrespectful ass little motherfucking brother, he, um, he's playing music. Oh, he's so fucking, t oh, I, I, I can't stand my brother. I cannot stand him. Okay, um, but yeah, um, I'm sorry for the background music, so if you hear that, then yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye, loves!